Hey guys, make sure to stay tuned and we'll share a common mistake that 9 out of 10 people make when replacing control arms. If you do not do it the right way, you will be doing the job earlier, sooner again, and that will cost you quite a bit of money and labor as well. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series Generation F10, F11. This is the 5 Series from year 2003 all the way to, year, excuse me, 2010 to year 2017. 2003 is the 6061. This is the F10. If you guys have a problem where you experience tire movement, let's say you apply the brake pedal, you see your tire moving to the back, or if you have an X drive system and you accelerate, okay, and you see the front tire moving to the front, okay, you can feel tire movement, you can feel it in the steering wheel. So we just will explain the top reasons for that, what you can expect, and a common mistake people make, nine out of 10 people make that mistake, and that can cost you guys thousands of dollars in future repairs, or you may need to do the job again. So all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stand till the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us. So every single car we get here at the garage, guys, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything from engines, transmissions, bodywork, almost anything, guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission here at the garage is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. And if you need to buy any parts, tools for your BMW or any car at a really good price, quick shipping as well. Check out the link in the description. That way you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, and you don't waste your money. So let's start on it now. So we'll demonstrate here on this 2013 BMW 5 Series that we have specifically. Now let's explain what can easily cause that now, guys. Do you see that device right here that we have on the floor? This is known as control arm. Your BMW 5 Series on the front will have multiple of those. You have uh, three different control arms and they eventually fail, guys. Okay. Oh. I didn't get this one correctly. They'll start fanning, they'll start cracking, and when they do that, it will allow tire movement, guys. You have bushing here, and you have on the other end, you have a bow joint. This is the new one. We have them replaced on this one. Okay, but uh, make sure you stand till the end. It could be something completely different as well. For instance, it was that bushing that we just replaced right here. We got the whole control arm, and if that fails, when you brake, it will allow the tire to move. If you have an X-Drive, under acceleration, it will try to move again. You have another control arm towards the bottom too. We're talking about this control arm right here. He has bushing towards the back side right there. He has a bushing towards the strut here. Okay, and a ball joint on the other side. So, uh, also you have an upper control arm right there. It attaches, okay, with two bushings, one on top, on the left, one on the right side, so front and rear side, and a bow joint. Any of these control arms, if it fails, okay, it will cause the arm movement. If one failed, most likely the other one failed as well. You always have to replace all of them at the same time, and do both left and right side. Now, another thing, guys, bow joints. But when you replace the control arms, practically you'll be replacing all the bow joints, except, okay, the outer tie rod bow joint. So make sure you don't have guys playing the bow joint or the inner and outer tie rod. Other things that can cause guys, okay, but before we do that, when replacing the control arms, you need to take, after replacement, you need to take your car for front and alignment. I would recommend all wheel alignment, four wheel alignment. Also, there is a special way how you should align your control arms when you install them. If you install them the wrong way, they will fail prematurely as well. That's uh, that mistake nine out of 10 people make as well. Also, other things that can cause sometimes, the movement could be a bad strut shock support mount on top and sometimes uh, failed strut as well. Those are some of the most common things that we see here at the garage, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.